So many of my students told me that they already saw beautiful, rich, vivid colors of fluid art paintings at one point of their life in internet and they really, really want to create something beautiful like that as well. But when they try to do it themselves, the only thing they would get is a muddy, dirty looking paintings. They tried it once, twice, three times and at one point gave up until they came to my class where I shared my secrets with them. Hi guys, I'm Zlata Rabinovich and I'm artist with over 20 years experience. But the main thing, I'm an expert in fluid art and today I'm going to share all my secrets with you. So your painting will look as beautiful as mine. Today we will talk about fluid cup technique. Sometimes people call it a yeah, dirty cup. Um, I call it surprise just because it's really hard to guess what you will get there. But the main name is a lip cup. There are a few main things you need to know when you're trying to create the, the painting in this amazing technique. I actually love it the most. It's most unpredictable technique. First of all, we need to know about the colors how to mix the colors, which colors could be mixable and which are not. So, to explain it easier for you, let me use this beautiful and <laughs> good looking color wheel. Trust me, that would be the easiest explanation you ever had. I split it whole circle in a three section, section number one, two and three. In the middle, you can see our three prime colors. You most likely already know that when we mix in the prime colors together, we can get any color in the world just from those three. No, plus black and white, right? But if you mix it in the same proportions together, you will get muddy colors. That's first reason why most likely you got that, right? Let me tell you how you can avoid it. And it's pretty easy. All you need to do, you can mix just two of them at the same time and make sure that if you want to add the third one, it needs to be separated. We're using as a separator white or black. There are more colors you can use as separator, but those two always works. Now, our sector one, it goes from yellow to red and it's include our secondary color orange. Sector 2 goes from red to blue and includes the purple. Sector 3 from blue to yellow and includes green. Easy, right? If you want to use all of them, just make sure for the separation between and you will be all set. That's first one. Second, and really, really important, the consistency. When you're mixing your paint, make sure that the, um, it's not too thick or too thin. If you do one of those mistakes, most likely it will not go well and you might create again muddy colors. By the way, check out my great video, Getting Ready to Pour. It's on my YouTube channel and it has all the explanation of how to get ready, what exactly you need, what colors I'm using, what paints, everything. But right now, let's concentrate only on how to make this work. Are you ready to start looking how it needs to be done and what we need to do to get our beautiful painting, right? Let's do it. So I'm using right now the regular Artist Love paint and this is my favorite, Metallic Cobalt Blue. I really like that color. I think it's very rich and very, very cool. So what I do, I put just a little, you don't need a lot. And I'm using the fluid roll. Don't forget to shake it. That's one of the things a lot of people forgetting to do. And then it might not look right. You start mixing and mixing and mixing. It has to become really one tone color. And until then, it's really tedious work on the mixing. Mm. 
Now you check if it's flowing. If yes, then you all set. That's a consistency we need. It needs to be flowing. It cannot just drip or it cannot run like a water. It has to be right consistency. Now when we got paint mixed and right consistency, let's go to our colors mix. What we do, we have our cheat sheet with all the sectors and I need to think what painting I want to do and what colors I'm planning to use. So first of all, I want to start with my white. Why? Just because. All colors I'm using right now already been mixed. I will start with my red and then I'm adding the orange. I really want to have something really cool and vibrant and want to have really cool vibe to it. And then I might actually add the yellow as well. As you can see, I'm traveling here in my sector one. Just like that. But before I'm adding second layer, you know what? Let me do white. I'm covering everything with white. And then I can go ahead and add colors from another sector. I will do it from sector three. My yellow color, I really like that. I am going to use that cool blue color which we just created. Just like that. And I'm going to use my green. Oh yes, let's use some green. I have really cool green. I'm doing all colors just for you. So you will see we can use all different colors and it still will look beautiful. And blue. Now I'm going to add some black, just like that. And again, I'm going to top on this black, I'm going to add some blue and purple. I'm right now in sector two, as you can see. Purple, blue, and red. Here we go, purple, blue, and it's enough place for the red as well. Let me add some red, just like that and maybe even a little bit white. I know I already put quite a lot of colors, but I really like it this way. <laughs> it looks really cool and yummy, like that. Like this. I have a canvas 9 by 12 and I have 8 ounce cup. Now, let's open it up. Ooh, look at this. When you just open up, you don't even know what colors inside. Sometimes they might look even better. Sometimes you might receive something you like less than originally. What I want to do, I want to get a little bit more red on top. So I'm using my torch uh -huh. to get a little bit more cells. Yes, that's enough. Now I'm starting to spread. I'm holding it and spreading. Look at the beautiful colors, how they are really nicely spreading. We got quite a lot of green, most likely because see, we put a lot of colors which could create the green close to each other. And that's absolutely true. We used a lot of yellow and we added quite a lot of the uh, blue together 
it's created the green. Guys, what do you think? Isn't it just gorgeous? Look, we mix so many colors and still our painting look beautiful. It has a lot of green, blue, purple, even purple. I saw the purple somewhere, right? <laughs> it was hiding right here. Red, orange, yellow, all of the colors, they actually live in together in this painting really, really nicely. It does have some depth to it thanks to the black, but it's still light and airy thanks to the white. I hope guys you really enjoy and like that video. If yes, don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, don't forget that bell sign so you will get future notification and hope to see you next time. Write down in the comment what you want to hear, what next the secrets or techniques you want to hear from me. See you next time in the next video. Bye!